hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that the springs ba and bc each have a stiffness of 500 newton meter and an unstretched length of 3 meters right so both of these springs have same properties that is the stiffness and the unstretched length so this means that the force of both of these springs will be equal right so let's say that if if we represent the forces in both of these springs so there will be a force in this AB spring in this direction and there will be a force in this uh, BC spring in this in the opposite direction like this right and both of the magnitude of both of these spring forces will be equal since both the springs are of same uh, parameters right so let's say that if I write that this the spring force is represented by FS so we are having two spring forces of equal magnitude right and it is said that determine the horizontal force F applied to the cord which is attached to the small ring B so that the displacement of AB from the wall is D equals to 1.5 meter. So we have to find the magnitude of this force F when this D equals to 1.5 meters, right? So now if I draw a horizontal line here, so this means that this length is 1.5 meter, right? We can write that this is 1.5 meter. And as we can see that both of these springs are same, this length and this length will be equal, right? If I say that, let's say that this point is, let's say, D point, right? So this AD and this CD length, both of these lengths will be equal and the total length from A to C is 6 meters. So then this will be 3 meters, right? We can write that this will be 3 meter length and this DC length will also be equal to 3 meters length, right? Since we know that the spring force is equal to K delta L or delta X, the change in length, right? So the change in length for the spring is equal to the stretch length minus the original length or the unstretched length, right? So we are given the unstretched length, which is how much, which is three meters. This is given right here. And the stretch length, so the AB is the stretch length, right? Or BC is the stretch length, right? So we can write that the stretch length, and this stretch length is the hypotenuse of this triangle. If I consider this triangle, if we consider this triangle right so this the stretch length is the hypotenuse of this triangle right so we can write that the the stretch length square we can apply the pythagoras theorem so the stretch length square will be equal to 3 square plus 1.5 square and if you want to find the stretch length so this will be square root 3 square plus 1.5 square and if when we solve this so this stretch length is 3.354 meters right so we can write that the stretch length is 3.354 meters right so now we can find the spring force right so we can write that the spring force equals to the k is given for both the springs right so the k is 500 newton per meter right and the delta L is the stretch length minus original length. So the stretch length is 3.354 minus original length is 3. So this means that the spring force is equal to 500 into 3.354 minus 3 is 0 0.354 newtons, right? So this is the spring force. Now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero since the system is in equilibrium right so as we can see that this spring force will have one component in the in the horizontal direction in this direction right and similarly this spring force will have uh, one another component in the same direction and both the components magnitude will be the same right since the magnitude of both of these spring forces are same right so we can say that this is the fs cos of theta right so which is acting let's say that the, if, if we apply this equation and this is our positive direction so the cos component of this fs is acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus fs cos of theta and similarly the spring force will have one another component in this direction as well and the magnitude of that 
uh, component is also equal to fs cos of theta so we can multiply this with 2 right so we can write the 2 fs cos of theta minus this spring force right this is equal to 0 or from this we can write that the spring uh, the force applied the, the force need to be applied is equal to 2 fs cos of theta and from here let's say that if if this fs is making some angle theta so we can find cos of theta right so cos of theta is equal to the base of this triangle if we consider this a b d triangle so the base of this triangle is 1.5 divided by the hypotenuse the stretch length of this spring right so the stretch length of this spring is 3.354 so we can write that this is 3.354 so from this we can write that f equals to 2 this is fs right so fs is 500 into 0 0.354 and cos of theta is 1.5 divided by 3.354 so this gives us the force f equals to 158 newtons right so in order to produce this much displacement that is equal to 1.5 meters of this point b we need to apply 158 newton force to both of these springs right so this is the solution of this particular problem